Certain characteristics as well as the unique nature of cloud computing has an impact on IR processes. On-demand self-service offered by cloud might decrease the interaction between the cloud service provider, CSP, and the consumer during a crisis. Also, the IR function varies widely depending on the type of cloud service and deployment model. Security incident detection, analysis, and recovery processes offered have to be clearly discussed between CSP and consumer. Thus, the incident response time may be hugely affected, making IR more difficult. Rapid elasticity of cloud infrastructure offered by cloud may widely impact incident response time, more specifically forensics, about which we will be discussing later in this domain. Cloud does not operate in a highly transparent cloud environment, and forensics demands a dynamic environment, challenging the way data is preserved, stabilized, and recovered. This lack of transparency affects the incident analysis, increasing the complexity of IR process. Resource pooling in cloud means the sharing of resources by multiple tenants. This can lead to serious privacy concerns among users during an incident analysis. For instance, the collection of data might not have clear processes, which might lead to the exposure of data of other tenants. The service providers need to provide the necessary support in order to overcome such circumstances. Next, the data stored in cloud might not have any restriction to geographical boundaries or jurisdictions, and the consumer might not even be aware of it. There might be legal and regulatory implications causing issues which, in turn, could affect the incident analysis. Organizations should include a legal team which will offer advice on the limitations and how to handle them across the different phases as well. In spite of the above-mentioned problems, cloud also offers benefits to users in terms of incident response. Cloud computing provides a continuous monitoring service, which in turn reduces the response time during a crisis. Additionally, virtualization and elasticity offers enhanced efficiency with less interruption of services. Let us look into the cloud architecture security model as a reference in the next slide. Now that we have come to the end of this module, let's do a recap. We learnt about incident response and the impact of cloud on IR, as in how it changes with migration to cloud. We also discussed the different phases involved in incident response lifecycle, such as preparation, detection and analysis, forensics and containment, eradication, and recovery. Lastly, we understood the recommendations for consumers and also requirements for effective incident response. It is quiz time. Attempt the quiz and check your understanding of this domain. We will be dealing with application security in the next domain.